Hi guys, um, don't have a tripod right now, so sorry about the uh, camera shake, but I'm just running a quick check of the uh, replacement uh, part. The uh, replacement laser modules come in, and I'm um, just getting it focused, and I'm really trying to sort out the uh, little bit of backlash that was on the y-axis. Uh, I think I might have have I think I might have most of it taken out, but uh, I'm not going to know until I get a couple good prints of the or a couple good runs of this. Now it's moving at the speed that the uh, DVD salvaged unit that I had, which is actually down here. I'll just show. That's the same housing, but uh, I gutted it and put a DVD diode in and used my own constant voltage, constant current driver, and uh, it was all right. It could cut foam. But to cut black foam, it had to go at the speed of this laser right now, which is currently cutting, um, I do believe it's actually cutting that manila envelope. So that's just uh, a regular uh, manila envelope, uh, something that came in the mail today. So it was uh, on the chopping table, so to speak. Um, and really what I'm trying to do is figure out if I can get rid of the uh, backlash. And I can already see right now it's a lot better. The top of that little circle is still a bit flat, and so is the bottom. That's just a bit of slop when the uh, y-axis goes positive. Um, it's being driven by a little Arduino Nano running some custom firmware, and the laser is being switched on and off by a UN 2003. And then I've got some uh, easy drivers there um, with a uh, custom passive heat sink. Uh, more than enough for what's uh, going on. There's a little fan. I know that this camera here is pretty good so it's probably actually picking the, the fan spinning. Um, gets enough uh, air over that heat sink to keep the diode uh, and actually the whole module. There's actually a driver circuit inside that uh, um, housing. Keeps that nice and cold and now uh, this time around I've actually put a little bit of heat sink compound where that meets the housing and that uh, old uh, salvage uh, chipset uh, heatsink and it seems to be keeping the whole thing much uh, colder and uh, seems to be doing a good job now you can see there's a bit of smoke coming off of that there because uh, well it's paper so it's gonna smoke I'm just gonna see if I can cut the beam down a bit yeah and, uh, you can't really see it the way the way you can with a human eye um, the uh, human eye I can actually see that beam comes down to a very tight point. Now, if I wanted it to be doing a better job of burning or engraving, I would have the work surface fan on too, and that would keep the smoke from getting in the way of the beam. But, uh, again, apologize for the shake here, but I do believe we, uh, yep, yeah, that cut. <laughs> That's a cut. Yep, that's just a piece of uh, manila paper from uh, a postal envelope and uh, that little laser went right through it like no problem. And as you can see, the, the uh, kind of hard to get it to focus here, I get to focus on the shaping. You can see the circles aren't quite round, they're a bit flat on the top. Now they're completely uni uh, identical to each other because the... Um, backlash on the y-axis is the same and if you could notice very carefully on the top of the heart shape there's also the same issue with the black la backlash but the object is much bigger so it's harder to see and uh, maybe I'll uh, whoop, maybe I will be able to uh, sort that out soon and get a tripod for this phone I'm just recording this on my uh, my Samsung Alpha here um, yeah, I'll have to try some foam next. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and if my voice sounds funny, it's because I got a cold.